wizard coder large language model that is winning the ai coding assistant race yes apart from gpt4 gpt3.5 if you look at all the open source coding assistants or open source coding based llms wizard coder leads the chart and i didn't want to believe in just the leaderboard so i asked a question to wizard coder write a python program to scrape hacker news and get everything as a pandas data frame it gave me a code I went to Google Colab, just installed the required libraries and ran the code. Of course, the code didn't work, but all I had to make was one little change from here. And when I ran this, it worked beautifully. I got a pandas data frame and it has got 229 rows and it has got all the links there and it has got the title and everything. So this ultimately worked and all it required was one single prompt, one single instruction to wizard coder. And it gave me the entirely working code with a slight change that I had to make. I mean, of course, I get to keep my job as a programmer to make this slight change. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss about Wizard Coder. What is Wizard Coder? So, Wizard Coder empowering code large language models with evol instruct. With evol instruct, it's a new thing that they have developed themselves, and um, it's a it's 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 a new way of uh, looking at large language models by fine tuning with evolve instruct method. So this is primarily focused on the coding programming as an aspect. Now, how is wizard coder born? Wizard coder is a combination of two popular language models. One is star coder. Of course, we have covered star coder on this channel. It's one of the best models that we had seen before wizard coder. And the second model that we have not covered on this channel is a wizard LM it is an open source model plus Star Coder is another open source model. These two models combined and trained with Evil Instruct, and that is how we got Wizard Coder. The group or the team that released Wizard Coder has released the 15 billion parameter model, and it is honestly doing really good on the benchmarks. If you see the Wizard Coder benchmarks, you can see here GPT-4 is here, GPT-3.5, and then you have got Wizard Coder. This is based on the human evaluation and the human eval plus. So based on two benchmarks, human eval and human eval plus, you can see wizard coder just staying, just staying at the top of open source models. In fact, before the ranking, it's it's above Claude plus and Claude and Bard. So you can see that GPT-4, GPT-3.5 and then wizard coder is there. And if you do not believe in these benchmarks, I mean, you have every single right to be skeptical about these benchmarks because everybody is showing some benchmark these days and it's very hard to believe if it is true i mean i don't know if you know a couple of days back there was a paper that chat gpt scored 100 percent on an mit test and then they released that the people who published the paper they actually again and again and again and again ask question to chat gpt until it gave right answer and then they said it got 100 percent so you have every single right not to believe the benchmark the team has been very kind and gave the code in itself for you to try it out. So if you want to try it out, the Evil Plus code is there for you to try it out. How to um, how to go with this? So with the with with this code, Wizard Coder generated, so you can use this code. And if you want more benchmarks comparing with open source models, you can go ahead and then see the lower means not a great model. The higher score, greater the model is, and you can see the Wizard Coder. 15 billion parameter model. It's the wizard LM and the wizard coder 15 billion parameter model scores the top like of all the models that we have got. It scores the best and uh, that's primarily because wizard coder is a combination of wizard LM and the star coder model and they have not released the 30 billion parameter model, but they have released the 15 billion parameter model completely open source. It's available. The model weights are available within hugging face model hub. So you can go here and download the 31 GB, like 31 GB model. You have got a couple of radio applications where you can go play with the model. At the time of this recording, the links were not working properly, but when I evaluated this like 12 hours ago, it worked completely fine. So please go ahead and check it yourself. Or if you have got your own GPU, which is powerful enough to run a 30 gig model, then you can go here, download the model and then start running. If you want to run this, like if you want to use the code for inference, the required code has been given here for you to do whatever you need to do to get the code up and running. It's an instruct fine tune model, which means you have to give the question answer question as an instruction and get the response back from the model in itself. 
so from whatever i've tested this model does really good um, i mean honestly speaking it does actually really really good and we have already seen how good star coder is and this model being on top of star coder with the power of wizard lm seems like um, a really good model for us to play with once again this is the same big code open rail license and uh, it's it's not like mit license for you to do anything with that but also it comes with certain restrictions so make sure you read the license part and then understand i'm trying to dive deep into the eval instruct method so if you are interested in that please let me know because this seems like completely fine tuned or completely focused on coding related tasks so this to develop wizard code model we begin by adapting the eval instruct method specifically for coding tasks this involves tailoring the prompt to the domain of code related instructions subsequently we fine tune the code llm which is the wizard lm uh, sorry the code llm here is the star coder lm on top of wizard lm utilizing the newly created instruction following training set and uh, you can go here and if you want how to use it on a greedy application there are a couple of greedy applications that are already available for you to play with like if you want to if you want to use it you can if you have got a gpu you can use this models uh, use this greedy applications and start using it overall this is um, this is like completely interesting space where we have got an open source model that is as good as like almost as good as uh, gpt 3.5 but uh, gpt 4 is still like miles ahead of them like if you see the wizard coder score it has scored 59.8 uh, surpla surpassing claude but gpt 4 is like way ahead of it so it's it's an it's an interesting space to be in and uh, let's see what is going to happen in this space if you have any questions let me know in the comment section but most likely next i'm going to explore how to run wizard coder on google collab using um, using quantization methods uh, but yeah if you have any interest or if you have got any suggestions please let me know in the comment section otherwise the paper the hugging face link and the github repository everything will be shared in the youtube description for you to directly check it out and then play with it hope it is helpful see you in the next video happy prompting